was uh, very tricky out there, the whole qualifying, uh, to, to nail a lap. Um, just a lot of, about, you know, tire temp related, every single lap again. Um, but of course, you know, very, very happy to be in front. Um, but yeah, the track is very challenging in the wet. Yeah, ev everything went really, really right when it mattered and the team did an amazing job to put me on the track at the right point, on the right tyres. Um, and when it mattered, we, we delivered and yeah, I don't, don't really know what to say. I think at the end, my first lap was really good. The second lap, just I lost a lot of temperature on that, that in between lap, which it, I was advised by the team to do a slow lap. And I don't know why sometimes I just don't do, do what I do. Um, but yeah, you live and you learn. Q1, I was still a bit off, but I was making, making improvements. And then Q2, still a bit off, but I made a, a really good step. And then I think Q3 was another good step. So, you know, I don't want to say it's perfect yet, of course, but um, I'm really happy with the progress. And obviously, uh, look, if we get another wet session through the year, I, I just expect Q1 to be, you know, closer. And then I can obviously be in the mix early on. Good to be higher up on the grid. Hopefully we can use that opportunity tomorrow. I think there was a little bit more, at least one position, maybe a couple more. But um, yeah, I went off in the last lap in my fastest attempt in turn eight. So uh, I was a bit too greedy, I guess, and locked up. But um, yeah, still happy with, uh, with the day. Great, we managed to, uh, to make it till, till Q3. Uh, before qualifying was a lot of talking whether we wanted to focus on the um, trying to put a bit the, the setup a bit, to, a bit more towards the wet conditions. And we decided to focus more for the race, which will be, uh, which will be drier. So still really happy with our performance. I was on a time lap, everyone led me through but uh, not Lewis, so uh, that meant that I started just, uh, I think, a second or two behind him, so I couldn't see anything uh, going into my final lap. Um, that was a bit disappointed, uh, given that I was not able to improve on my final attempt. I think today proved again that anything, anything can happen in, in these sessions, and uh, if tomorrow is like this weather-wise, anything is possible. You know, we have a great pace with the car. The car was flying on Friday. And we had a lot more to come, so, um, you know, it's the first time I say that, but I hope it's going to be dry tomorrow. Uh, if it's wet, we will have a good look overnight at what we can do. In the car, I was frustrated, but I have to say that now I completely understand the choice. Once they, once the team explained me the, the reason, there was some rain on the radar, and it's always difficult to know whether it's going to be five minutes early or five minutes late, and today it was five minutes late, so... Um, it's life. It's, uh, it's part of racing, and tomorrow we'll try to maximize the, the race result. I mean, I think we were a bit un unlucky just being the, I was the first one basically to set my lap on a, on a drying track and, you know, we've seen all, many years, especially at this track, with how long it is, how high speed it is, you know, even just 20 seconds behind and uh, I think I literally was the first one setting the lap on, on that final lap, so, plus it wasn't the best lap from, from my side, I think there's still a lot I could have improved on. In the wet conditions and for some reason this weekend, it's nowhere and uh, don't fully understand why. Uh, I'm quite lost, to, to be honest, with why the, the failing is not there. And yeah, unless it changes something big tomorrow, it's, it's not going to be easy. We struggled this morning and, and now again, I think I was P14 in Q1, P14 in Q2. So more or less, that was uh, my pace, unfortunately. So not, not good enough. Uh, so let's see tomorrow. Not, not a good Saturday, hopefully a good Sunday. Yeah, it was good. We just didn't uh, get the last lap in because of strategy. So. Uh, it was a difficult condition, and the last lap was not too bad, but not fast enough. And uh, yeah, I think today, also in FP3, we struggled quite a lot. So yeah, we'll see tomorrow. For sure, uh, with this condition, the race, everything can happen, and uh, we need to be ready if uh, the opportunity is there. Um, I should be in the Q2, so I mean, like, if I see the car pace, so um, yeah, I just wasn't fast enough. Uh, I think it was, uh, it was a good, um, well, good let's say training for me uh, it was a, it's a good base of knowledge that I've learned uh, and I can I can use it in the future so uh, yeah I'm pretty happy with that uh, <laughs> I take anything from today not but uh, I'm sure given some more laps it would have turned out to be a lot better but uh, you know we'll see what the weather is tomorrow and do the best that we can I thought that the right tyre was the amount of water that to stay out was wet but we needed to box for inters earlier and yeah, I just lack that grip, um, and then I only had one lap on those, and it wasn't enough to put a good lap together.